Well, my character has changed a lot since season one. You know, in the beginning, he kind of was reckless, didn't take any responsibility for his actions, and ever since he had the baby, um, you know, he's kind of made a complete turnaround and is trying to be the best dad that he can be. You know, there's definitely something in the future between Amy and I. Um, I can't say if it's necessarily marriage or if it's just uh, a bond. I think at the end of the day, we both just want to do the best thing for John. This next season, you also get to see my relationship with Nora, my real mom, develop. And in the past, you know, I've kind of been the, I guess, father figure of her, even though she's my mom. And now the tables have kind of turned. She's kind of buckled down and, you know, she's off drugs. So she's starting to have a good life. It seems like the ante has been up. It's, it's like the stakes just feel a little bit higher um, for everybody involved. I think because there's, you know, the body count is rising and, and there's more mystery and the girls are now seniors. So that the ninth episode, we're starting to film that right now of this season. And just in the first nine alone, you know, I, I, uh, I, I, Marlene actually told me, she, was, she said that, you know, you have, you have a big secret coming. And something happened and I go, oh, is that my big secret? And I was like slightly disappointed. And then something else happened. I went, oh no, that's my secret. And it's pretty, it's pretty big. Like it's not, you know, I think Ezra's got some serious skeletons in the closet that aren't just, you know, oh, okay, I was engaged once. Well, all right. Like the, the, the ones that come up are pretty big. Uh, I know one of them. <laughs> I know, I've met one of the guys uh, and he's on The Secret Life. He's a really good guy, uh, Darren. And he's, he's a good dude. Uh, I actually, I haven't met any of the other yeah, I, I know Drew, too. Van Aker, yeah. I mean, they're, they're great guys. They're kind of, you know, we're all in the same boat. We're all at this great house together, having a, having a great afternoon. Well, it's weird because every single, I felt like every show that I, that I worked on, they wanted me to take my shirt off. Like, I worked on One Tree Hill, shirt off. I worked on Drop Dead Diva, they were like sleeveless. Um, CSI, shirt off. We're skinny dipping. So it's like, uh, they always want me, and then I got on the show, and it's like they haven't made me take my shirt off yet, which is great, you know? It's like I'm not being objectified but you know I worked out really hard I mean I look at Nick what he did it was wrong but also you know he was kind of in the right in his own mind for those seconds and he feels bad about it you know it's sort of one of those things that it happens and in the moment it's the right thing to do but then later on once you realize that Jane's not off sleeping with some other guy Maybe not the right decision. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I hope that, you know, I, I think that him and Nick Fadden and, and Jane's dynamic on the show just has this great chemistry. And it's, it's, um, it's so much fun to work with. I love working with Erica, so the more I can do that, the better.